the shape of my heart. This project is to celebrate Valentine's Day. The materials you'll need today is a white piece of paper, 9 by 12, a pencil, scissors, a glue stick, crayons, and three sheets of colored paper. Here are some shapes, but you can also think about shapes that you, sto that you saw in the story today. You can use any of those. Let's see how we're going to begin. You're going to take a heart tracer if you're in class and trace it on a white piece of paper. If you don't have a tracer, just please draw a, a heart as big as your paper in pencil. When you're done, you're going to start drawing shapes inside your heart. They could be any shapes you want. When you like what you have, you're going to color those in by pressing heavy with your crayon. The more shapes you put in your heart, the better it's going to look. And when you're done, go ahead and cut it out. Please throw away your garbage, if you haven't done so already, before you begin the next step. We are going to be making a mola. What you're going to do is you're going to take your heart tracer again, and you're going to put it on a colored piece of construction paper. Look at this second picture. Now, here's the key. You're going to trace bigger around the heart. You're not going to trace along the tracer like we normally do. You're going to be cutting bigger, and then we're going to cut it out. So let's take a look up close at what this actually looks like. Do you see how the pencil line is bigger than the tracer? That's what you want to do for your first mola. So take your tracer and trace bigger around the outside. And when you're done, go ahead and cut this out and throw away your garbage. Hit pause. Now you're ready to start your second mola. You're going to need another piece of colored construction paper. This time I'm using blue. And I'm going to use that last mola, that first mola that I made, the yellow one. I'm going to use it as my tracer this time. I'm going to set it right in the middle of my blue paper. Once I'm done, I'm going to go around it bigger like I did the first time. So now this blue heart's going to be even bigger than the yellow heart. And when I'm done, I'm going to cut it out. Let's take a look at what it looks like when we're finished. Do you see how the yellow heart is smaller and the blue heart is bigger? You're going to glue those two together. And then when you're finished, you're going to take your shape heart and glue it in the middle of that bigger yellow one that you made. So you have your shape heart, your first mola, and your second mola and you are done. I hope you enjoyed this project this week called The Shape of My Heart. Don't forget to put it on Artsonia, week 19. Bup, bup, ba, da, bup, clean up.